Are you one of those guys or girls that thought that isometrics were terrible for you because it's bad for your blood pressure? I thought that too. So it's time to get educated. Let's start with where this even came from. This specific little fallacy has its origins in the 20th century as prior to that time, the idea that strenuous exercise could harm the body's systems would have been considered absolutely ridiculous. In early periods such as ancient Greece and Rome, heavy exercise was viewed as beneficial and a social obligation for citizens to maintain strength and health. Similar beliefs in the advantages of intense physical activity persisted through the dark ages and the renaissance until the 20th century. What led to the shift in perspective during the 20th century? Well, the prominence of blood pressure for one in the medical field played a pivotal role. Despite being a relatively recent metric back then, blood pressure gained significance. Animal blood pressure measurements initially conducted on horses in the 18th century using a crude method involving brass pipes marked the early stages. Human blood pressure measurements began in the mid 19th century and the modern blood pressure cuff emerged in the 20th century, albeit taking time to become widely adopted, the advent of this tool solidified blood pressure as a standard health metric. And it was a significant breakthrough as well, enabling medical professionals to perceive the circulatory system akin to a fluid-filled piping system. Analogous to liquid flowing at a certain pressure throughout pipes, adequate blood pressure is essential for proper system functioning, preventing issues like organ deprivation and fainting due to low pressure or potential potential damage, leaks, or bursts, leading to strokes or aneurysms from high pressure over time. The consensus by the 1950s emphasized maintaining a moderate blood pressure with high blood pressure considered a critical concern. Around that same time period, when the American public was becoming more aware of weight training and bodybuilding for health benefits, it was recognized that intense exercise raises blood pressure, particularly during the activity itself. Normal systolic blood pressure, the pressure during heartbeats, can nearly double during strenuous training. Several mechanisms contribute to this effect, including simple physics, muscle tension constricts the circulatory system, reducing pipe diameter and increasing pressure. Moreover, exercise elevates heart rate and oxygen demand, leading to increased blood pumping and consequently heightened system pressure. Additionally, the sympathetic nervous system's activity rises during exercise, further elevating blood pressure. And if you'd like to learn more about the nervous system in isometrics, here's a link right here, definitely check our video out. Following that logic, that exercising raises blood pressure and high blood pressure is undesirable, some physicians thought that exercise itself must be terrible, right? However, this is obviously wrong as we know today. Blood pressure is inherently dynamic, fluctuating regularly. Such fluctuations are vital for normal human functioning, occurring during activities like coughing, visiting the bathroom, or even laughing. Sudden increases in blood pressure are not only normal but essential for maintaining consciousness and preventing collapse when standing up. Contrary to the misconception, the occasional rise in blood pressure during exercise is natural, and it's actually a necessary physiological response. Short-lived increases in blood pressure during exercise are generally not a health risk, as both blood pressure and heart rate return to their resting baseline levels after the activity is done. The true danger arises, though, when the baseline levels of blood pressure and heart rate are consistently high during rest. Prolonged elevated blood pressure over months and years is linked to conditions like strokes, aneurysms, like we talked about earlier, and heart attacks. Contrary to concerns, research indicates that intensive exercise can actually alleviate hypertension instead of exacerbating it. Most physicians now understand the importance of exercise in reducing high blood pressure, but what some might overlook is that isometric training surpasses regular weight training in its effectiveness for lowering high blood pressure, proving to be a potent method for this purpose. Now, how in the world is that possible? Well, after in-depth research into the effects of traditional weightlifting on blood pressure, Pressure, attention turned to isometrics, suspecting they might have a similar impact on lowering high resting blood pressure. Surprisingly, the results of isometric studies were striking. Isometrics proved to be significantly more effective than regular weight training in reducing blood pressure. A comprehensive meta-analysis of 270 studies conducted globally over the past 30 years confirms that isometrics not only reduce resting blood pressure, but outperform all other forms of exercise. The examined programs included lifting weights, aerobics, combined training, high intensity training, and isometric strength 
exercises. The findings indicate that isometric exercises are the most effective, followed by combined training, resistance training, aerobic exercise, and HIIT training. If your goal is reduced blood pressure, the research suggests choosing isometrics over activities like walking, jogging, cycling, weightlifting, or sprinting is probably for you. Speaking of studies, a notable one involved individuals engaging in isometric exercises three times a week for eight weeks. What happened to them? They experienced a substantial reduction in blood pressure. Their systolic pressure dropped by 12.5 points and diastolic pressure decreased by a remarkable 14.9 points, equivalent to nearly two points per week. This represents a significant and potentially life-saving decrease achieved with minimal training, approximately 20 minutes three times per week, and a relatively short duration. Some more recent studies have observed notable blood pressure reductions in as little as four weeks of isometric training. Interestingly, in certain cases, isometrics have demonstrated greater effectiveness than antihypertensive meds and have been suggested as an alternative by some experts. Addressing concerns about the risk of stroke or heart attack during training, a recent article in Clinical Hypertension provides reassurance. It states that isometrics, besides being safe for this purpose, actually reduce the practitioner's risk of cardiovascular events. The evidence suggests that isometric resistance training is highly effective for managing hypertension, with no published data indicating its safety concerns. Moreover, data from potentially high-risk populations such as those with heart failure demonstrate additional benefits beyond blood pressure lowering, including improved endothelial and collateral vessel function. The consistently demonstrated reductions in blood pressure have been linked to more than 10% reductions in myocardial infarction risk and over 20% reductions in stroke risk, which is amazing because the number one killer out here right now is cardiovascular disease. Notably, isometric strength training's safe Safety has gained endorsement from the American College of Cardiology, American Heart Association Task Force on Clinical Practice Guidelines. The efficacy of isometrics in normalizing blood pressure lies in the isometric response. When you contract and maintain muscle tension in isometric exercises, your tight muscles mechanically constrict blood vessels. You would think this is bad, right? But no, this compels the entire cardiovascular system to work more strenuously to circulate blood throughout the body, creating what can be termed the cardiovascular vascular isometric response. Researchers recognize this response as having significant potential benefits for heart health. In essence, isos serve as an intensified workout for the heart, simultaneously toning and strengthening circulatory system tissues. This dual effect not only leads to a remarkable reduction in high blood pressure, but also enhances overall heart health and cardiovascular fitness. Isometrics proves to be a workout not only for muscles, but also for the circulatory system. If you've ever done a six by six workout on the isomax or any type of isometric exercise program in general for at least five minutes you know what i'm talking about contrary to misconceptions isometric strength training doesn't harm blood pressure instead it swiftly normalizes high blood pressure outpacing other forms of exercise and even certain meds it might be the most beneficial activity for maintaining healthy blood pressure before heading out into a program like this you might want to consult your doctor whether it involves isos or any other type of training if you're aiming to improve high blood pressure a simple starting point is incorporating 60 seconds of total isometrics every other day. This can be done without any equipment. As a matter of fact, we have an entire playlist on exercises that involve no equipment called our Zero Tech Isometric Playlist. Here's a link right here. Definitely go check that out when you have a chance. You could begin with light exercises to avoid strains in our initial sessions and then introduce a variety into your exercises periodically to prevent physiological adaptation. To enhance your isometric fitness, consider measuring and improving your force levels over time. The Isomax, designed by the Dragon Door team, is a recommended tool for this purpose, digitally accurate and user-friendly. Utilizing this device is believed to be the fastest and safest way to bring dangerously high blood pressure down to the safety zone in just a few weeks. The notable side effects of an Isomax exercise program include improved strength, increased muscle size, reduced joint pain, heightened speed and explosiveness, and numerous other positive benefits detailed here. But what is the Isomax? Well, here's a link right here explaining just that. We'll see you there.